Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video here and I'm going to show you the spawn commands for the five new tameable types of dinosaurs. The blade wasp is not tameable. That's why it's, well, I guess you could force tame it, but these guys are actually tameable. And I will leave the codes on the screen while I kind of talk about them real quick and I will show you how to spawn them in. Pretty easy actually. I'll at least give you the codes and uh, I wish you the best of luck kind of testing these guys out and hopefully you have some fun with them. So. First up, we're going to go over to the Astrocetus. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn on this so you can see he is referred to as the Space Whale. Um, now the Space Whale is actually really easy to use. He is not very fast by any means. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave this code on the screen. It's a gargantuan beast of a creature. And uh, make sure you hit pause. I'm not going to leave this on for super long because that's just, you know, a waste of your time. Um, the Astrocetus is a lot of fun. Super huge. Can teleport. All that shenanigans. So, it is on the screen for you, just so you can see it. Now, we've also got the Bloodstalker. Now, the Bloodstalker is something that's a lot of fun. This guy is a speedy little thing. He can, like, literally pull blood out of Thames, which is interesting. Um, he's got a very interesting jump ability. I don't really know how it works quite yet. It's like a mini jump, um, and that's... That's pretty much what you need to know about him at the time being. Um, but he's got a pretty cool ability, so that's that. So I'll go ahead and leave the spawn code for you on the screen. So this guy is the Ferex. He spawns in and um, he kind of spawns in as just a little guy and you can turn him into this big monster. And he's a lot of fun to use. Um, he can jump really well. And uh, he's got this like weird grab onto walls ability. He's going to totally change everything. And it uh, doesn't seem to take too much damage from falling. Got some good health on him. Just in general, pretty good. I'll leave the spawn uh, code on screen for you. Alright, so there is that. Now, that's the Ferex. Now, the Magmasaur is next up on our list. This thing is a monster. It's base bar attack will put things out in the wild so it like burns anyone that comes close to you, which is kind of cool. You can charge up a searing spit attack, which is obviously super OP. And he launches himself, and he can launch it a long ways. It's almost like an artillery strike, and it's pretty cool. So he's also got his normal bite that shreds pretty much everything. So I'll go ahead and leave it up on screen for you. Okay, so there was that guy, and then the Mega Colon, or the I don't know, how not, Mega Mega Colon, Mega Colon, something like that. This guy is the Turtle of Justice. He actually gathers pretty good um, seeds and stuff like that, almost like Bronto esque. Um, he's got a Bubble Breath. You can see that right there, and the Bubble Breath lasts for quite a while, which is kind of cool. This is a 150 tank, just so you can see. It's got some pretty good stats on it, actually. I would assume that it's back it can soak like there's no tomorrow, so people are going to use these to just soak entire bases. But obviously I don't know. I'm sure its head takes reduced or increased damage or something. Something along those lines. So, I'll go ahead and leave the code on screen for you. Alright guys, and those are the five new tames. I really do hope that you're enjoying them and spawn them in and let me know what you think. And uh, if you don't mind, mind leaving a like and a subscribe for the content, I would greatly appreciate it. Trying to pump out some awesome stuff for you guys. And um, other than that, hopefully you're enjoying it because I'm loving it so far. And other than that, teach out.